Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Roblox emotes in your own game completely for free. But first, go ahead and like the video, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and let's get right into it. So yeah, we're going to go to Roblox Studio, and the first thing we're going to do is create our character for our animation. So I'm going to go ahead and use the local character plugin for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert myself. So I'm gonna do Poncho Kings right there, as you guys can see my character. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna put him right here. So now what we're gonna do is create a script. We're gonna do to insert object, insert a script. And we're gonna change the name to Animate. Then inside this, we're gonna go ahead and create another object and we're gonna insert an animation. Okay, so this is gonna be your animation which doesn't have an animation ID yet, but we're gonna add it in a minute. So first thing we're gonna do is inside our script, we're gonna go ahead and create the controller, which is controller equal to script.parent.humanoid and then we're gonna play the animation which is controller load animation then script dot animation and then play so this is basically gonna play our animation but we don't have any animation yet so let's go ahead and get that so I want you guys to go ahead and go to Roblox webpage you're gonna go to avatar shop you can go to avatar animations emotes and you guys can basically pick any emote you want. It's gonna work for all the emotes. So I'm gonna be picking the uh, maybe the top rock emote for this. So yeah, I'm gonna use this emote for my game. I want you guys to go ahead and copy the ID right here, which is these numbers. You're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to our script. Then I want you guys to create a variable for that we're gonna do local animation ID and we're gonna paste our ID right there so perfect then we're gonna do game insert service load asset uh, we're gonna do animation ID we're gonna do parent game replicated storage okay so the reason we're doing this is because we cannot directly use the animation ID in our animation because it's not gonna work so we gotta use this to get the actual ID which we are gonna be able to use so you guys will see that in a minute and well yes after you type this we're gonna go ahead and play and test it so as you guys can see it is not animated yet because we have not given it an animation but uh, if you go to replicated storage, you will see you have a model right here, which is basically our top rock animation. And this way we can actually get the animation ID we want to use. So we're going to copy that right there. Then we're going to leave test mode. And now we can go ahead and paste the ID inside our animation. So we're, we're going to paste that here. Now we have an animation ID and if you want you can go ahead and delete this because we are only going to use the controller and the controller play. So let's go ahead and test it. And there we go. You have a Roblox emote actually playing in your game completely for free. As you guys can see it looks really really smooth. It looked really really good. I think it's really good to use Roblox emote in your games because it gives life to your games. It's a really really good idea and well yeah I, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video it's gonna be all for now thank you so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace Ooh.